Hello, I'm Tommy. I'm Jimmy. And this is Danae. Hi. Hey, Danae. Hello. Hey. Uh, you've just got out of doing some recording. I did. How was it? You know, us actors are our own worst critics. Because <laughs> it's like, when you're actually on stage, you're... You're focused on so many other things. When you're in there, it's like your voice in your head, and you're like, oh, God, is that how I sound? So uh, you should ask Sunny how it went. Well, we were listening, so okay. we can tell you. All right, it was tell great. me how it went. It was really good. Okay. It, was really, it was really, really good. Thanks. What did you just finish recording? I just finished recording No One Else. Okay. <gasps> My favorite song. Well, yeah. Yeah. That's a big one. Makes me cry. Special song, yeah. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. Dave is like, literally, he's a genius. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah, oh, well, yeah we really yeah, do. You know. Yeah, yeah. We really, it's really like there's do. something else going. Like every human doesn't just come up with things like this. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Because that's the thing about no one else is it. It, it doesn't. It's it's not the song you expect it to be. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Um, you know, because Natasha is young, um, and it's so beautiful and pure. Mm -hmm. You know, it, come, it yeah. comes from that really, really nice, so innocent place. It's so rich and, like, nuanced, and there's, like, melancholy, but there's this unbridled joy. Yeah. 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 And it is, it's that, it's that conflict. I think we talked about this in the podcast, actually, didn't we? That it's, because it's, it's obviously, it's not unrequited love that she has, but it's not necessarily real love yet with yeah. Andre. Um, and it's all these different They're feelings. They're long distance, like you say, I and know. there's no FaceTime. Right. <laughs> How did they do it? I don't know. They wrote letters. They wrote yeah. letters. That's exactly, exactly. what they did. In 19th century Russia. Yeah. Um, uh, but, yeah. So how does, it, how does it feel for you, you know, when, when you're singing it? What's kind of going through your head? You know, I feel like where I resonate with Natasha is... I don't... I was very... I feel like I we have a lot of similarities, mm -hmm. but I feel like that transition she's about to go through into, like, womanhood, mm -hmm. there's, like, this joyful anticipation, but there's also a melancholy attached to it. Like... Because you're saying goodbye to so much, and mm -hmm. you're saying goodbye to this childhood, and when her and Sonia fight, and like these things, cause she's trying to define herself, and it's scary. Mm -hmm. um, and like the lyric with, um, we've done this all before, we were angels once, don't you remember? Like she feels like she has this sort of connection to the divine, mm -hmm. and I just think that's really beautiful. And so the, the song sort of lies in a very kind of deep place for me. I feel like it's almost like you're kind of experiencing like, her religion or her dogma, uh -huh. like this is how she experiences the world and what she believes in, you know? I absolutely love that, yeah. 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 You're a spiritual person yourself, and is that? Yeah, I'm definitely a spiritual person, and just like her feeling like what she wants in life, and her love with Andre, and then her love with Anatole is like mm -hmm. connected to like divine destiny. Yeah. You know, like I totally get that. Yeah. I think to, or at least for me, to be an actor there has to be some sort of element for right. me to feel like I'm called to do this in some way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that kind of helps you through the times that are really difficult mm -hmm. to feel like it's you're doing something that's bigger than you, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, absolutely. Because I think so, like a lot of people could play that off as a young trait, mm -hmm. you know, of like, oh, so naive, you don't know the world, blah, blah, blah. but it's so respectable. Do yeah, you know I, mean? I don't, yeah, it's weird. Like, I maybe it's because it's a character bias thing, but she's <laughs> young, but I think she's making some really intense decisions. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, I would say at no other time in history, like now, if you fall in love with another guy and like you break up with your betrothed, mm -hmm. you're not like dooming your family right. to destitution. <laughs> exactly. You right, know, exactly. it's a lot of pressure to yeah. have on a 17 or 18 year old, you know, and I feel like she handles it with a lot and she has the courage to discover something different and be like, this might not actually be what I want. Mm -hmm. You know, in the book, he literally leaves her for a year. Yeah. And like chooses his father, his father's like wants over her, you know? Uh -huh. So she's dealing with a lot of complex things that I think even a 30 year old would probably yeah. have a hard time processing. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, she has that horrible exchange with the Bolkonski. Yeah, yeah, right? You know, who would come out of that being like, I'm ready? Exactly. Yeah, I cannot wait now. Like, question <laughs> some things, right? right. That's what father in law looks like. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah. what that's laughs> What is Andre going to turn into that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So do you think that's what propels her into falling for Anatole? Do you think there's an element of that? You know, I think that 
there there definitely is doubt there. Like I think the fear and the doubt kind of leaves room for mm -hmm. other enticing things that kind of make you feel a little more secure. Mm -hmm. um, and Andre isn't here, you know, exactly. and like Anatole is. Yeah. And yeah. I think that if she has that sort of doubt and fear, and maybe some of the time that she would have spent daydreaming about Andre is now left questioning, mm -hmm. that kind of leaves room for a guy who's really there and really present and won't take her Absolutely. eyes off, yeah. take his eyes off her, yeah. you know. It's hard to ignore that kind of attention, mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> yes. You totally. know, when someone's like really just zeroing in on yeah. you. It's like, yeah, you are the one I want. Mm -hmm. yeah. And do you, I mean, do you think she's a spontaneous person? Because like, there could be an element of that that's like, well, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to see how this goes. I think she listens to her heart. Yeah. You know? And I think that kind of makes you spontaneous, I guess. Yeah. Your heart can change. But I just think yeah. that she really trusts herself. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It, it feels like it's a decision every time. It feels yeah. like this. It's not, it didn't just happen. It might be because of some certain situational things, mm -hmm. but I have decided this is the direction I want to, my life exactly. to Exactly. And mm -hmm. then she's like, and I'm going to full force behind it. And it's hard because Anatole lies to her, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, because she thinks she's dealing with the truth. Yeah. Maybe she would have lived a happy life with Anatole. I know. If he weren't a liar. Yeah. <laughs> is it my fault that you're enchanting? So it's the moment um, in in my house, right? Big moment, big moment mm. in the show. Big song. Yeah. Um, you come back at Marriott. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who would do that? Uh, especially <laughs> to her. And I think that is such, in terms of Natasha as a character, that's such a defining moment because that shows she's not she's not weak will. Yeah. Like she's not some weak little girl. She's absolutely like, not. Natasha, come here, kiss me, press you with face to mine. Don't touch me. Why didn't he come to the house? Why didn't he openly ask for your hand? You were not kept under lock and key, carrying you off like some gypsy girl. And if he had carried you off, don't you think your father would have found him? Your father, I know him. He will challenge him to a duel. And what then? Will that be all right, eh? He's a scoundrel. He's a wretch. That's a fact. He is better than any of you, I say. Yeah, it's interesting. I, you know, you do a show so many times, and sometimes... I'll do a show and I'll challenge myself to really like listen to every word right. mm -hmm. and I was listening to the words Maria says some really hard things to her yeah she calls her good for nothing mm -hmm. vile shameless hussy, like, like hussy. Yeah, it's not you know so like I think Natasha's defending herself yeah she's being attacked yeah you know and it's like she's defending her character because I I felt so bad for her because you know it's like this act of wanting to run away with Anatole, I don't think is an act of rebellion. Mm -hmm. I think it really is about her. Yeah. So to her, it's like, you know, you're raised with these ideals to follow your heart and all this stuff, and now I'm trying to do that, and you're calling me all this crazy stuff. Right. Yeah. You know, I think that, like, it does. It. I think it takes a really strong, strongly built person Absolutely. to be like, no, you don't get to tell me about myself. Yeah. I get to tell me about myself. Yeah. One of the ones I absolutely love is um, at the end when you say to Pierre, don't call him bad. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's a really important, because... After all of that. Right, you still have this forgiveness? Yeah. That one, that line, honestly, I feel like I'm still digging into. Right, yeah. That's, uh, that's awesome, though. It's Because it's like, she, he really hurts her. Yeah. I don't know. Because where does it come, does it come from a, I mean, people need to be polite about each other, or is no. it, I'm still, you know, like, you I don't know him I think she didn't get really closure, I guess. Mm -hmm. Right. You know when someone, like, dumps you, there is, you still, like, you still have to finally let go of that part of you that loves them. Yeah. And I think that she hasn't processed that yet, okay. I guess. Because she probably still remembers the parts that, like, she was, like, willing to go make a family with, mm -hmm. you know? And that's not there anymore. So I think it's just complicated. Yeah. Because then she's like, I don't know. Did you love, did you love that bad man? Don't call him bad. And it is hard when someone, like, when you think about people who've hurt you and you think back at them and you remember the good times, too, you're like, well, how can those things coexist? I know. You know? And I think that's what's beautiful about the characters that he wrote. Mm -hmm. 
You know, it's like they're so, they're like people. Yeah. They're so complicated. Like anyone you can think back to in your life, as much as you might hate them or love them, someone else hates them and loves them. Right. You know? Oh, completely. completely. It yeah. has the opposite opinion that you have. Yeah, yeah. You exactly. Know? And I think that's also wonderful about this cash recording as well, is that you can listen to it 50 times and you will still find more and more. And it is, it's like a book. You yeah. know, you can, every time you're reading it, yeah. We'll dig that bit extra deeper. I think our cast recording is special because the show is all sung through. Mm -hmm. I feel like you get to get a lot of the story. Because mm -hmm. I grew up listening to cast recordings. Yeah. But the book's never recorded. Yeah. And how great is that? Do you know what I mean? Because even if you're not seeing the show, you get you to see still... the show. Yeah. Basically. And cast recordings are huge. I mean, for those of us who grew up in the Burbs far away right. from New York. Right, as far as Scotland. Yeah. Like. yeah. <laughs> That's your, like, access to yeah, Broadway absolutely. shows. You absolutely. know, And how you get obsessed with them. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely.